Welcome to Watches with Dennis, and I do not buy microbrand watches. And I thought I'd do a brief video to kind of explore why. It's not something I go into very much, and it's sort of tough for me because it's a bit of a catch-22. I always feel a little overwhelmed trying to learn about microbrands because there are so many, but that also means I don't like to consume a lot of the content. I also feel a lot of the content about microbrands comes out from people who are given the watches for free who then get to sell them. So I don't really trust a lot of the statements about micro brands inherently. I think there's a shilling effect to it. And mostly it's been when I've done searches of micro brands, I mostly seem to run into a lot of really derivative designs, a lot of dive watches, a lot of homages to Rolex Submariners and the like. And so I find that very off-putting. Now, what stands out to me about microbrands, and I always then start to consider a few of them, is when I see very unique approaches to the design language. So, case in point, Studio Underdog, when they came out with their chronograph, I was interested in it. Looks really interesting. It meant I also paid attention to their next release when they put that out. Another example that I hear a lot of talk about lately is Brew and the Brew watches. And again, very iconic look, doesn't remind me of anything else. And for that reason, I give it attention but I never actually pull the trigger on them. And in part, I think a lot of that ends up being a basis of concern that if I don't like the watch, and there have been plenty of watches that I didn't enjoy very much or downright hated, that I then let go, and I don't know how easy it's going to be. Obviously, i got to just give it away or just throw it away. But I mean, retention-wise, while I expect to lose money on virtually any watch I buy, losing a lot of money, very off-putting to someone like me. So... Why would I settle for a micro brand that I might not like when I could go with an established brand, even in an expensive established brand like Orient, and get my enjoyment out of that? And then I know if I want to get rid of it, Orient's well enough known in the watch collecting community that I can move that watch along. And I'll take a loss, but I won't take a micro brand loss. And it's a factor. It's a factor that I continue to believe uh, weighs very heavily on my decision making. I tried to think if I've ever owned anything in the realm of a microbrand. The only thing I could come up with is Ming. I had a Ming Messina Lab collaboration watch. You might consider Ming an independent. You might consider it a microbrand. I think it probably meets the definition in a lot of ways of a microbrand. But at the time, Ming watches were selling for more use than they were new. The only reason I ended up getting it is they changed their usual sales approach. So I was actually given the opportunity to buy it. I didn't have to rush to try and get it. And when it ended up being uncomfortable for me to wear, I was able to trade it away and I traded it at a higher value than what I bought that watch for. So if it's a gamble free proposition, absolutely, I'll consider a micro brand. But otherwise, I always just turn away from it. But I also think I'm probably missing out a good experience in the hobby because of that. So hence the video. I would love for you all who are watching to comment below, give me some suggestions on not just a micro brand to consider, but if you got particular models that you think are worth considering, maybe models, even if they're not in production anymore, if it's a used model, secondhand model that I could relatively easily find, I'd really like to know ideas on ways to explore that because it's one of those areas in watch collecting. I don't know if I'm going to go down that path, but it is a path I have not gone down. And so when I think of ways to interact in the hobby, I'm always thinking of new things to do with it. So anyway, I'd appreciate your suggestions. If you found the video interesting, please do give it a like. And of course, I always appreciate subscriptions to the channel, which will notify you automatically when I have new videos out. That's it for this one, everybody. Take care.